Hi guys and welcome to another edition of Action Figure Friday. Um, with this edition, to be honest, it's an unplanned one that um, I wasn't going to quite film this because I didn't actually have this figure. Um, the plan was to get a couple of Legends figures I've had sitting around for a while filmed and out the way over the next couple of um, weeks and then start on a, um, a full set that I've picked up. But um, I, it was my birthday um, yesterday and I received a figure for my birthday and... It's just too cool. I can't wait and sit on it. I, I just like this figure and I want to see it on my display. So, um, getting straight into it. So, it is a Marvel, uh, sorry, Marvel, a DC um, multiverse figure from McFarlane. It is the Death Metal Wonder, Wonder Woman Dark Knights. So, you can see the artwork on the back there. An absolutely cool looking figure. Um, so, really want to break this in. It's the second one from the Dark Father. Um, build a figure you saw me unbox Batman um, I do want to get the Superman and then I would imagine I will pick up the Robin King just to finish off the Dark Father but um, I definitely want the Superman but this uh, this Wonder Woman as soon as I saw it I wanted to get it so um, I'm, I'm really pleased that um, Callum my um, assistant manager thought wisely and bought me this for my um, birthday because it is a fantastic piece so, as I say, it's part of the Dark Father Builder figure. So, with this figure, you do get his um, his cape. I think um, we've got some parts of him. Um, I think it's his arms that came with Batman already. We've got his head as well. So, obviously, I just need the body and the legs, which um, I do believe come with the other two figures, which are Superman and um, the Robin King. So, I think that's only a bit of plastic holding um, old Wonder Woman in her box so we shall get her out of the box and take a good look at the figure so there's Wonder Woman out I am going to take this fantastic chainsaw out as well which is her weapon so we will be displaying her with her weapon in her hand some things I don't bother but this is far too cool so we'll get her card out, as I do, I have started doing now to um, display in my um, my little file facts. And there is the stand. So that's all the parts of Wonder Woman. I'll keep the um, Dark Father parts in the box, um, ready for. Getting the rest of his bits and bobs to put him together. So, is that box sorted out. So, here's the Wonder Woman figure in itself. So, she's got the blue tinge and colouring to her hair. Remember, this is the death metal set, so it is a very ap apocalyptic scene. So, she's got the, um, the much more um, skulls on her shoulder blades. Um, the um, the gauntlets on her wrists, so the full Wonder Woman outfit um, and boots, very um, cool. So um, a really really nice looking Wonder Woman figure. That it's um, one of the better figures I've seen from from the range. And as, as soon as I say I saw this range come out, the Wonder Woman and the Batman were the two I really wanted to pick up. I do like the Superman as well, um, and hopefully we'll see that in a future video because I do plan on getting the. Um, Superman, but really pleased to have picked up this Wonder Woman and adding it to the collection. So her weapon, um, if you've read the um, the Death Metal storyline, is a chainsaw. So um, a really, really cool bit of kit she has got there. Um, and it actually comes with this figure, so I'll see if it'll go in her hand. The um, only problem with McFarlane figures I have seen in the past is sometimes getting them to hold their weapons is a bit tricky. However, this does seem to be a little bit, it says it falls out of her hand, a little bit easier to um, to get in, hopefully. We shall, um, we shall try anyway. Yeah, that's much better. That's well in there. So she has got her chainsaw weapon in her hand if it will stay in there so yes 
so that's our thing on display. She's got the chainsaw ready to go in the um, in the hand. So really pleased with that um, as well. So um, we'll get her on her stand. She has got some real high heel boots on, so hopefully she stands okay. Um, and we will get this um, displayed with the other McFarlane multiverse figures. As you know, I have um, I have changed around the display at the at the moment, and um, so we've taken away all the Marvel Legends um, from the upper shelf, put all my other Batman figures and DC figures up on the um, on the top shelf behind me, just so I can have a proper shelf for my. McFarlane figures so there there you can see Wonder Woman on a stand ready to display with her chainsaw at the ready so we will pop her up behind me on the display and um, we'll see how it looks so there you can see Wonder Woman displayed with the um, the two death metal batmans and the display is building rather nicely you can see the figures i've unboxed over the last few weeks all in there um, and you can see that there's a bit of space around this um lonely schneiderverse wonder woman so i wonder what could be going in around her we shall wait and see um, and there's the other parts of my um of my collection as you can see so we have got space for some more to be gradually being filled in. Um, but yeah, the Wonder Woman is in the collection. And to be fair, one of my favourite pieces along with the Batman. I do, do as I say, love this um, death metal set. So um, hopefully it will grow as the um, weeks go by. Um, there is a fantastic set of three Jokers just been announced um, with some good characters in it. So um, I think there will possibly be a few of those being picked up. And you can see my um, Bat family there at the end of the um, end of the shelf. But we'll leave you with this last look at the Wonder Woman. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this look there at the um, Death Metal Wonder Woman. Certainly a... a um, Marvel um, um, multiverse figure I've really wanted to add into the collection and I think it looks absolutely fantastic with the other figures on display um, I will as I say be trying to pick up the um, the Superman from this collection definitely and um, I will either try and pick up the last two parts of the Dark Five or I'll pick up the Robin King the Robin King's not so much a figure I really want to pick up but just to complete the set it might get picked up just to um, get the Dark Father finished off and added into the collection um so as always if you have enjoyed this video please put in the comments um below what parts you've enjoyed about it i do like bringing these videos on a weekly basis um, and will continue to do so so um action figure friday is going nowhere um if you have um enjoyed the video please give me a like give me a subscribe um at recording this um it is, um, I'm very, very close to the 200 subscriber mark. Hopefully when it goes out, I have passed that mark. Because um, this is being recorded a little bit ahead of time of it actually hitting the um, hitting the um, live um, on um, YouTube. So, um, otherwise, that is it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.